When we had the latest eruption in the Sunduka crater chain in the Swartzengi volcanic system of the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, we expected it something to be quick, be over in one or two days. This was not. We had South Fissure, which is continuing yet to erupt in one crater after many wall collapses and turning and turning of the lava inside the crater we have now ended up with a crater which is becoming tighter over time and the flora which is rising and the rim is forming around it the rim formation is related to the rising of the level of the bottom of the crater and that means that the lava has to rise more and create a higher rim. Then we have overflow due to this. It's like a bathtub which is overflowing. And then a shattering of the volcano happened. The crater shattered, cracked, and the lava cauldron was all over the place, practically trying to form something which we call a shield. South and north flowing lavas are very localized now. We have ended up with a very localized eruption around the crater which I have named K1. K1 is now erupting all over around it itself. The lava flow doesn't go toward the, what we know as the Grindavik L12 and L13 walls. The walls are holding the lava back. The solidified lava is holding it back and practically the, we can say the Grindavik is saved. The life is going on as usual it seems. The only thing is that probably some light pollution. But the localized eruption now will just continue to form a shield like what it did when the Fagodesvia volcano in 2021 happened. Again, we have several chain craters there and only one survived. This is again is going to happen with this new eruption in the Sunduka crater chain in Iceland.